Okay, folks, we're back. When you last saw us, we were fighting Zerat. No one can beat him. Actually, we weren't. I forget what this guy's name is, but it's not Zeran. <laughs> um, you know what the heck? I'll try freezing him. And uh, life is short. Barry, steady sword. Yeah, he's immune. I figure he, because you know that's as maxed out as it can be. Life is short, Barry. Steady sword. That's gonna be my hot new catchphrase. Yeah, and I defeated him. All right, Garana was defeated, and now the ghosts are gonna like blast you. Who would have thought that you'd have the weapons of Kormu? This is my negligence and my defeat. But though I may be destroyed, someday Lord Zagos will likely crush you. All oh, praise Lord Zagos. Gasp. Life was short for you, buddy. Barry, steady sword. I'm sorry this all happened because I introduced you to the old innkeeper. There's a resistance camp in the southeast. If you go there, I, I, I'm done for. What? No, you're like the first nice person we met in this entire freaking continent. My spirit is fading. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Joyce, Joyce, please wake up. Come on, Joyce, Joyce. Sniff. Sniff. Let us prepare Joyce and Grave with our own hands. What, you want us to use our feet? What's the alternative? Dude, this sucks. They killed like the only likable person in the entire game. Here lies Joyce, a baker's daughter. Her bread gave peace, rest, and the power to fight for freedom's sake. That's... Wow, I'm like... I'm actually a little bit moved here. Oh, and, and, and she had this... this turtle head dip you know what back in her hometown it was like head over heels in love with her and everything and like wow you a spiritualist that explains it yeah 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 I just want to make sure that I can't hire any of these guys before I leave alright I don't think I can get back to that town but man and what have I actually accomplished here? I don't really see how this is going to help me get back to, um... Excuse me, I don't see how this helps me get out of this area. Usually you complete a quest in a town and then you can go somewhere you couldn't go before, but... I just came here... Um... Saw an innocent good person die, and that was pretty much it. Maybe I can now r ride someplace? I don't know. What are you doing here? The only thing to do around here is visit the ruins of the town of Karen to the west. And he moves out of the way. Oh, I'm going to save state because I have no idea whether I'm really supposed to be going back here or if I'm supposed to have gone somewhere else. Yeah, there's no tram to take, so... Apparently I was not supposed to come here. Let's head east. I wonder if we could have spared that poor girl's life by just not going over there. Do -do. There's some... Dude. Just there's freezers. This place does kinda look like Planet Namak, I guess. Resistance. <laughs> Who are you people? Are you spies for Zagos? Yeah, that's what we are. Don't ask. Ha! No spy would say that he was a spy. Let's see your identification. You're looking more and more suspicious. Let's see some identification. Oh, I have to give him the top secret thingy me jigger. Uh yeah, so I wonder if I could have saved her life by not talking to that guy in the town. I'm thinking this guy probably wouldn't be here if I hadn't done that quest. Oh, friends of Grunt, there's some one you can trust. Okay, come into our hideout. Walk into our solar mobile. Hey, it's another resistance hideout. What do you know? I hear from various parts of Sasquad that there are preparations underway for festival honoring Noigren's completion. Zagos is terrifying spiritualist. Time and again, we've sent capable people, but they have met with untimely demise. It's me, Fiery. We meet again. I have a secret mission, too. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere. Yeah, okay, he must be a plot guy, then. Zagos, no, it's nearly finished. Things will get dangerous unless we stop it without delay. Being in sympath... In sympath being in sympathetic <laughs> resonance to Dal Grand, the ancient machine, and Ascot, and we'll destroy the whole of Lennus. I wonder what kind of weird idiot unleashed that thing anyway. Dalgrand, I mean. Rookie is a lively town. They say you can buy all kinds of things. I hope we don't forget anything when we're equipping. I understand that the ancient machine Dalgrand's rampage is getting faster all the time. And that squad is fairly crazed right now. 
I understand the turtle cult camera is attacking the city. Check in. You want to hire me? You seem to be a good judge of people, but it'll cost you 2,000 G. Is that okay? Just watch what I do with my weapons. <laughs> it's incredibly filthy what I do with my weapons. You obtained Comsuck. You just stole it right out of the treasure chest in front of a bunch of witnesses. If there's anything you need, make sure that you don't take my Comsuck. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um. It looks like there is a talented spiritualist in this town. He seems to be able to go above ground through the door in the center and live in that house. What? Chechen's a good mercenary to hire. I need to hire these other two loser mercenaries first because, like I said, I want to have every mercenary in my party at some point. I'm going to fire people so I can make room for them. Parting is sad, but we have no choice. Goodbye. Gundy has left your party. Gundy kind of sucked, actually. I don't really remember him having been particularly useful. Uh, Bean. It was only for a brief time, but I was happy to be able to travel with living people. Thank you. Aw. Yeah, you know, I do kind of feel bad that we sent the ghost away. And he's the only ghost left, too. Grzev. I'm Grzev. I'm with my big brother. I'm weak. I want to be strong. Yeah, Grzev is freaking useless. I seem to remember there might be some kind of trick with him if you come back later in the game. He's, like, actually really powerful and stuff, but... He ain't powerful right now. I'm Grzev. I'm with my big brother. J oh, it's G Razav and J Razav, or Junior Azov. If you want to meet, if you want me to join you, it'll cost you a thousand G. If you prefer, my little brother G and I will join you. We're high-powered soldiers. Yeah, he's actually really powerful, and his brother just kind of sucks. If you want me to join you? It'll cost you a thousand G. If you prefer, my little brother G and I will join you. The Reza brothers have joined your party. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of trick where, like, if you have them in your party and you come back and hire them again later, they're, like, the really crappy one has gotten stronger. Let's just do a battle with these guys in our party just to see what happens. Although, here's, like, a house. Interesting. I'm the spiritualist of... A. I'm the Fonz. Hey, I'm the spiritualist of W. For a thousand gold, I will give you the wool magic. All right. I don't think I have the wool magic yet. Then I should give the magic of wood to Chesney. I'm the spiritualist of wood. I'm the spiritualist of woo. I should give the magic of wood to Midia. All right. Awesome. Now I have like all sorts of magic power and stuff. Let's see, uh, he's getting pretty close to having all the magic, and uh, he needs all of the magic to win the game. Uh, because the final boss is only affected by, like, super spell, which uh, requires all the spirits. And that's the other reason why he's the only one who can hurt the thing, because uh, Midia doesn't get to have all of the magic. Because she's a girl, and uh, girls don't get to be the strongest boys in RPGs. Hey. It's not my fault, folks. I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, what kind of cool new magic did they get, anyway? They got defense up. That's always nice. Uh, lightning storm through days. Good. Break G. Storm, etc. Uh, I'll check out his magic later. Well, now this means I need to level off camera because I need to go out and, like, power up their spells all the way. But for right now, let's just do a quick battle so that, um... Defeat all... The boys. The boys are back in town. These days on the eyebirds. J. Razov. Will you want to use the wind sword or the HST? Let's use the HST. And G. Razov, who kind of sucks, has a good shield. And a seed sword. He has a bib and a stuffed gobo. I think he's supposed to be, like, retarded, actually. Um, that's the only thing that really explains it. <laughs> Confused. Okay, folks, well, um, I may or may not finish this battle in the next 15 seconds. Probably not. But when we come back, I will uh, have done some leveling up, and we'll get on with the plot. I'll also read up on whether or not I have to do anything special to get the Razov brothers to be useful. Uh, it's just going to be awesome. So uh, I will see you guys later.